Hello and welcome to the last game of the playing stage. It has been an absolute banger, man. I love these playing stages. I, uh, yeah, it's just so great. I am totally fucked and exhausted after I just saw an absolute banger of a series. Yeah, this game or this series, it's going to be sad for me because I want both of these teams. I predicted both of these teams to make it and one of them is not going to make it. On the one side, PSG, it's like my sweet little summer child from the minor regions, steadily improving, now finally having recognition on the international stage. And on the other side, Hungry Thieves, again, they changed the roster, so I'm not in love with the organization that much anymore. But quit, man, that guy is so good. I really want to see him perform. I kind of got lulled in into this quit hype train. And yeah, so in the end, I, I think I'm still for PSG, but I want to see Quit do well. So if Hungry Thieves wins, it's going to be okay, but only if Quit played well. If he's going to be like on Aurora and Huawei and whatever, like then I'm mad. But uh, yeah, fingers crossed for an absolute banger of a series. Let's get into the draft of game number one to see who is going to get an edge for, well, the start of the series. We have an Oriana first pick, Oriana Syndra. Where were these champions? Not the highest in priority during this playing stage. Sure, some bans for the Syndra especially, but that's kind of about it. Then we see uh, on the other side, Renekton, blind pick. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Summit played some mad Renekton today, but yeah, well, paired up with the Sejuani, that's going to be a fierce duo for like any top lane aggression. So we already see Hungry Thieves going for some Ubuga Buga Zack Zack and pairing it up with Quid Huawei. Okay. I can feel at least somewhat happy if PSG is getting the win here, no? Who are why I think 0-2, 0-3 or something at this point. Uh, it's just, I I see the vision. And it's better versus this Oriana than versus, like, uh, what was it? Ari and the um, Lucian, right? Obviously, against the mobile champions, it's just uh, that much better. And yeah, we see uh, another Skarner coming through. Maybe we see another reason why Skarner is so high in bands. Well, we'll see. We'll see. And the Nar, yeah, yeah. Nar is doing Nar things. And uh, yeah, we have Nar versus Renekton. Mm. <sighs> and yeah, both sides now are banning bot laners, right? No bot laners really have been picked. So one side is banning AD carries, one side is banning supports. I honestly think, I mean, Lucian ban on for PSG is pretty interesting because I would expect um, Hunger Thieves. Uh, to want to have the Lucian ban uh, as well for their side because hey, Huawei wants to hit his abilities and if there's Lucian who is I think the most prominent dash AD carry right now that's just going to be rough. Anyway Nautilus Rel bans make some sense right because hey, you have an immobile mage you don't want to get CC chained to death and you're probably going to pick some form of I have no idea what uh, AD carry they're going to pick. They could go for like ultimate zag zag with like a Kalista lane and just go in and have Huawei stand in the back. And they could also go for something yeah, a bit more traditional like Avaris. Again, no Jinx priority whatsoever for these players. I have no idea why. It's not banned. It's not picked. Sure, Yon at least is on this uh, priority. So that's, that's something. But where is Jinx in this playing stage, right? We just don't see it enough. And I don't get it. Regardless, Jin here picked up as like an answer to Varus and it's not the best, right? You're not matching his damage output, but you're matching at least some of the utility, some of the CC that you can offer from long range, yada, yada, yada. But it's also another immobile AD carry into Huawei, into the Sejuani. Uh, going to be interesting. And it's also, now you have two like bursty champions against two bruiser top lane Esque champions. Wait, is that Yumi locked in? No, it's not locked in. Okay. And then Alistair. Hey, very nice for my most depth uh, prediction. Alistair here, decently good, right? Uh, being able to peer some of the top lane champions. And we see some semblance here of ball carriers going in for the Oriana. No Nocturne or anything, but just beefy dudes like you expect it to go. And oh my, that's a. Yeah, I think Hungry Thieves cooked here, no? Right? Uh, like, their top side is just not going to die because. Like PSG lacks like DPS damage. Huawei is decently safe, decently safe, right? Um, they have DPS themselves with Varus against the beefy boys. And if the beefy boys charge in, it's good for the Sejuani, it's good for the Varus, and they have a Renata on top of that. I think 100 Thieves absolutely cooked with the draft here, and unless, like, uh, yeah, the. Uh, Jin and what's Skana are going to be able to generate some picks or something or like anything right outside of classic 5v5s 
uh, yeah, I think PSG doesn't really have a leg to stand on. Hungry Thieves with an absolute draft Nirvana. Okay, coming into the game, let's talk a bit about the lanes. Right top lane, it's a range versus melee matchup. Now versus Renekton, I'm not going to say anything more about that. Jungle matchup, doesn't matter because it's fucking jungle. And mid lane matchup, well, we see, or we saw... Uh, the Huawei absolutely pushing in an Ari, and well, Ari and Oriana not really the same champions. So that's that, but uh, yeah, uh, he lands first blood, so he also gets the first mana flow band. Both mid laners recalling after this uh, exchange, right? Quit getting the first dub in that regard. It's 19 versus 35 in the power rankings, not by a lot, right? 60 points difference. Everyone knows what that means. And uh, yeah, bot lane, uh, it's wild. Yeah. Uh, swapping away from this bot lane uh, makes sense. Sure, your top laner is kind of better, but that's about it for the positives. They find Sniper here, they chunk him out a bit, but that's about it, right? Obviously, at level 1, you're kind of lacking in terms of cooldowns to punish a Renekton running around. But yeah, um, it makes sense. It makes absolute sense that you don't want to play this top, uh, the spot lane matchup. I was Varus Renata. That's disgusting. I would not want to face that anyway. And uh, yeah, we have a bit of a like swap situation here going on. Yeah, I mean they're going to get more bot lane plates, and uh, that's just uh, yeah gruesome. But they're going to uh, also be two manning this, so more plates there. Actually, it's the same. Oh, there's the TP from Arge. He got the Mega Nar. That's a cool idea. Gets the W instantly off. But Woody has already CC chained. It's going to be first blood any moment now. He gets into the brush. And yeah, River will die as well. Can they dive this? I don't think so. So it's going to be first blood 400 thieves. But yeah, really well done there by PSG. I feel like they get the Mega Nar. And oh, Maple also out laning here. Yeah, this mid lane matchup, I feel it's pretty versatile, versatile, volatile, right, depending on who is better, depending on who lands the crucial poke, and yeah, from there it's going to snowball really hard. AJ here respecting, is there someone still in this brush? Who knows, he has the jump, right, and he jumps away, nothing really too dangerous, right? But, yeah, let's see, so... Hungry Thieves, they stay in bot lane with their bot lane. Uh, and yeah, it's going to be a bit awkward, but I think overall it's still going to be fine, right? If you look at the CS situation, Nar is leading and the uh, and Betty is also leading, right? So that's that. And looking at uh, XP, they're also leading. So I think PSG is still absolutely doing well here in the situation, right? Uh, maybe things will change in the next couple of moments, but... Now let's just see. Looks like they... No, they are not swapping back. They're not swapping back. They're comfortable with this situation. And I, I understand why. Because the Nar is absolutely fine in the 1v1 against Tomo. Like, sure, he's not going to kill him or dive him or something like that. But he is absolutely fine. Like, he is okay. And again, we look at the map state. We look at the CS, right? Sure. Uh, right now, Betty down. But he has a wave to collect. So that's that. And yeah, overall, just fine situation. PSG... Well, looked a bit weird, but I like the lane swap iteration much more, which is good because they were the ones opting into the lane swap. So, ah! Maple missed the cannon minion. Now, yeah, things are not fine. You immediately see a gold lead for 100 thieves after the cannon minion was missed. Anyway, with the bot lanes, like they don't even need to swap the bot lanes around. Like they're just usually here, and yeah, looks like. Well, they get the first one, they don't even need to smite, so it's going to be interesting. Oh, okay, Maple uses the old, but uh, yeah, they get Alias uh, Flash for it, and... Wait a second! I said, I said Tomo can't die in this, but he's going to be pushed in. Look where he died, he died in River. He was trying to rotate over. What the hell? Okay, uh, yeah, I mean, thumbs up, 100 Thieves. Cool gameplay, cool gameplay. PSG, thumbs up, better gameplay. And yeah, that's a, like, a small little gold lead, right? Let's see what happened here. So he queues this, leaves the turret, and yeah, well, Aj is just going to hit the W, hit this, and bam, that's that. Remember, Tomo didn't have flash anymore. 
Wait, actually, when did he lose the flash? I don't remember. Oh, yeah, yeah, bot lane, bot lane situation, bot lane, the dive thingy. Okay, 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 okay. Jin is already full build. He has bought the strongest item kind of in the game. Um, the static shift, right? It's just so strong. And, well, you're going to see the damage from it. Hopefully not, because it's absolutely disgusting. Like, uh, obviously, it's the Disneyland combo, but... Uh, the, 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 the kind of small hidden text on the item, when you get a kill, you get more lightnings that just bounce, bounce, bounce away, and that stacks, and that is like, there's no cooldown on that, so if you get a kill and the lightnings kill someone else, you get more lightnings, and then you get more lightnings, and then you get more. Uh, sure, again, it's the Disneyland combo of getting a pentakill with that. I already saw some clips, and again, it's nothing really realistic, but, uh, yeah, so that's just the Disneyland and this item in general. If you will hover over it after like a couple of moments of gameplay. Regardless, enough talking about items. We see some Wombo combo. Alistair and Arje on the flank and yeah, Oriana ult on top of that. And sure, there's a cool ult from Elia, but just does not matter. It's going to be close to an ace here at 14 minutes. Cool you fought for the grubs. Uh, yeah, they took your hat. Actually, it's not even grubs. It's, it's just Rift Herald. Yeah, PSG absolutely Goomba stomped PSG on 100 Thieves, right? That was so weird. Like, look at this. Like, they completely overstepped Woody here on the flank, and they're st like, now they recognize that they're fucked. Look at the map state, right? Quit is in base, and they're over, over forcing for this. Sure, you can TP in, but like, you want to have uh, the Huawei guy with you. If you step up for anything, right? You need him to be there. His TP impact is just non-existent. So even disregarding anything in terms of positioning, wards, just the idea of like contesting without quit there, it's just illegal. It's just absolutely illegal. And uh, yeah, very well done. Very well punished by PSG. Finding the flanks and uh, look at this top lane situation. Look at this mid lane. Maple picking up three kills, even with missing all the cannon minions. He's now 1.8, 1.8 K ahead. Absolute destruction. Oh man, Maple is so good. It's it's so it's so interesting, man. I obviously, as a boomer, I obviously love these things, right? These uh, like players that have been around forever. And yeah. It feels like we're getting fewer and fewer of these. Here Junjia goes in, they get the Taipei from Aji, they get the old and just Tomo's free food. Uh, yeah. It's it's over. It's over. This game is over. Hungry Thieves is absolutely fucked. They they have no leg to stand on. Again, like Quid can play the lane out as well as he wants. It just doesn't matter. His team is just running it aggressively and he's still playing Huawei. They just go in, they dive. River, hey, bye bye. Headshot in the face and well, 0 1. Hey, I can't even. We can't even fly a flame sniper, right? Uh, PSG? Like, they go into this game, right? They look at the draft. They say, okay, we can't go into standard lanes. We're getting cooked. They get the lane swap. They play the lane swap out beautifully, right? Nice lane allocations. Nice, nice reactions to Hunger Thieves who were looking for some cheesy things, right? Hunger Thieves, they weren't like swapping back. They had Tomo in the bot lane and sure in theory it's not it's not bad but then you need to adjust your play and well then another thing leads to another picks finding PSG and hey now they're on a the roll there's seven seven thousand gold ahead at 18 minutes they just find another guy river caught in the river <laughs> I think someone finds that funny Oh, actually, here we see at least the idea. Maple here on the side. And uh, yeah, we see the value, by the way, of the Renato ult, nah? But, uh, <laughs> but yeah. Maple, bro, he finds it. Flash that another thing. And maybe he finds another QV, W. Yep. And Elia also dies. Flanking Oriana. Quit. Hey, stand strong. You fought well, but hi. <laughs> this is a bit of a fucking diffy and a jiffy and a. Mm, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. An absolute disaster. 5-0. Maple showing the new talented mid laners how it goes. Absolutely lovely to see. I mean, this game is, again, far from uh, from like, like being real. It's just completely done. It's over. It doesn't even exist anymore. We're already in game number two. Like, it's already GG. But this is disgusting. 
PSG is playing so well. Sadly, my big question now is, where was this level of play? Like sure, Hunger Thieves is not too good either. But that's the same for Mad. Like, uh, let's not act like this team is any good. Have you seen more than five games of this team? Jesus, regardless, regardless. Uh, what's done, it's done. We can now clone an A uh, again. I, I guess I'm European, so uh, like mad making it and NA not making it, I get that's good for me. But let's see how clean PSG can close this out. How much of a stomp they can make this be. So far, 12 to 1. 1 turret, 1 kill. Okay, so next good news Cloud Soul is spawning. Baron is on the map. But the thing is, PSG, their Baron damage is not that great. Even if they are that far ahead, right? Nearing the 10,000 gold mark now. But is it going to be enough? Is it going to be enough to close out this game cleanly, right? Hunger Thieves, what do they have going for them? Like, let's, like, let's open the book and tell some fairy tales, right? How, how does the comeback look like? So first of all, Baron Steel, or something like that. They need a miracle. Next thing. Um, maybe getting like a Baron Steel, getting some picks, maybe getting some of the objective bounties on the map, right? It's all far, far away. We are in fairy tale land when we talk about these things because realistically there is no game to be played. Game Gold Lead is closing in on the 10k, right? Maps is completely dark, right? They have one ward there in absolutely no man's land and even that one got spotted out and might just be cleared if, if PSG even cares about it. Look at this, absolute darkness. They sneaked in this one ward, but PSG knows about it and it's irrelevant. Again, Baron damage is low, but if, it's, if there's no contest, you can't just do it, right? Junjia here, he takes no damage from the objective. And now let's see, River has flash, has Q, has everything that he needs to go in, but is it going to be enough? Tomo already cooked. He's dead, and that's him. And now, oh my god, Ashe. That's why we pick Nar, I guess. That's why we pick Nar. Oh my, oh my. Let's see, they TP into mid lane. Nope, you're not getting this objective bounty either. Maybe Sniper here should look for Dragon, I feel. Just looking for Dragon, picking up that bounty. But yeah, I mean, PSG, now they've used their flashes, right, aggressively. On the other side, Hungry Thief also used their flashes. But maybe with flashes down, maybe that's a window of opportunity for Hungry Thieves to find the picks that they need. to maybe make a comeback, but uh, now they have first to deal with this Baron push. And Tomo, absolutely illegal. Again, we have full vision here as a spectator, but I mean, for him, the map is dark. How the hell do you dare to stand there to attack that ward? Uh, it's illegal. Sure, he has flash, he has barrier and everything, but this is just like, what the hell is he thinking to do that? Anyway, Sniper here trying to work away on top lane turret. Maybe he can get an objective bounty, right? And uh, I guess PSG says, okay, fuck it. Get that, enjoy it. We're going to take everything from you for that. What did that turret cost you? Everything is, I guess, the answer that they're looking for. He pulls them out of the base! Absolutely done. Absolutely done, though. Beautiful. And uh, yeah, Baron is still there for a while. They pick up a kill. Junjia just goes in. It's not the wildest of plays, but there's not enough damage on the opposing squad to even deal with this Skarner. Two and a half items, so much HP, so many resistances. Like the champion is naturally tanky and yeah, would he find something? Sniper, hey, that's your Sterex proc. Hope you didn't need that one. Ashi jumps in, finds Tomo, CC chained up, the Renata W is just an afterthought. Woody doesn't even die, gets the HP, gets the fucking shield as well. And game number one, 26 minutes, it's an absolute slaughter, it's a masterclass, 20 to 1. Hey. Near airport uh, uh, is, uh, is absolutely cooked. Maybe they can make something happen in game number two because this one was a no game from uh, from a very early point. Absolute masterclass. Let's see, let's see. Okay, okay, we're in the draft of game number two. We just witnessed murder. Murder on YouTube. Didn't know that was allowed, but hey, it is what it is. First pick, Yon. <laughs> <laughs> Scary. Uh, Hunger Thieves, they ban away the Skarna, they ban away the Nar. And uh, yeah, it's going to be interesting. Here we have the Renekton mid facing the Yon, and then we have Aatrox versus Nar. Uh, 
going for some melee aggression, right? It's going to be interesting. Casters are talking about quit playing Aatrox mid lane. Uh, maybe I should have done more research. Maybe that is something, but I would not want to play Aatrox against Yon. There are things that uh, yeah, seem much better, like the Renekton you've already picked up. Anyway, three melee champions plus the Sejuani team fighting tools. PSG are already looking absolutely great. Sure, Hunger Thieves, they've picked up the sticks. Maybe they can play around like swap situations. Sure, the turret damage was nerfed, but it's still Zix, right? It's still doing something. It, it's, the, the, the ability still exists, even if they're nerfed. So, they ban away the Jin. Makes perfect sense. Jin with this, like in this game, would have been an absolute disaster again for Hunger Thieves. Kaiser, another good ban. So, they're banning away some of the strongest. AD carries that can be paired up for PSG and that also do decently well against the Hunger Thieves composition. So I can't really fault the bands. I still don't know why you would like, like first of all, leave Yon open. I think Yon is absolutely correct. We don't talk about Jinx. People just don't know how to cook. And then the next thing is, like, like this. Let's not talk about it. They pick up the Rel. Uh, good pick away, right? Rel here would have just been an absolute monster in Gager next to the like team fighting uh, ultimates from PSG. They needed this rel and they pick it away, so that's what I want to get at. They pick Ezreal Alistair, a bot lane from like I don't know 2010 or something. One of the safest bot lanes you can play, so that already tells you PSG they want to play around the top side, sack maybe the bot side a bit, and it's still safe, right? This Ezreal, sure he's not going to deal a monstrous amount of damage against these Bruiser champions, but he's going to be able to get away from them. He's going to be able to peel. Next to that, the Alistair, who is really good against these melee champions who don't do complicated things. You can just headbutt them, you can just uh, knock them up and all of that. Not to mention, obviously, Alistair is good against Rel, yap, yap, yap. River, again, gets the carry champion. Last game he got absolutely cooked, but it was just an overall team gap, right? Sure. Quit didn't go 08 or something, but this Huawei pick is just illegal. It's just so bad. They've tried it again and again. Maybe in the Swiss stage with better teams and better players, it's going to look better. Again, I think the champion in itself is not that bad, but you just need to be a bit more smart about it. How you play around it and how you draft around it. Now, looking at this game against Hunger Thieves, Hunger Thieves, the expectations are low, so that's that. But they are still, in theory, a major region team with the expectations to at least make it to Swiss stage. Again, I think the expectations for the Hungry Thieves team need to be adjusted a bit, right? Again, this play-in stage is very, very strong, very, very competitive. And I think only one team kind of disappointed, and that's Vikings. Everyone else, even the teams like uh, the, the Hawks, which obviously had a very like sad run with 2-0-2 de defeats, looked really good even in their defeats, right? So the the level of competition for play-in level like has been really good. And Hunger Thieves, again, they, it's a miracle that they're even here. They have, we've not swapped away, um, makes some sense, right? Both uh, teams really are okay with the, the bot lane matchup, I assume. And uh, yeah, nice E over the wall here for River, harassing him a bit more. But uh, yeah, it's going to be a bit of a calmer early game, I want to say. Absolutely insane. Woody. That's why this guy is so high in the MVP rankings, right? That's why he is so highly valued. For the simple reason, like that. His engages, his playmaking is so good. And uh, yeah. I guess here we see why Alistair is a counter to Rel. Uh, yeah, this, this thing should still never happen, but hey. Okay, Woody comes around. People grouping up, but not the AD, AD carries or the like the casters in the bot lane, right? Let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, Sniper. Again, like, why is he picking this champion? Oh, knock up onto Woody. Gets this. I can't speak, but Woody goes in. He gets the kill for his top laner. And yeah. Wait. Elia also died. I'm not paying attention. Thank God the casters are, because they tell me what I need to pay attention to. Good job, casters. That's why you earn your money with that, and that's why I am not. Regardless, they pick up one grub and yeah, 3-0 lead already and yeah, it's it's rough. Sniper have no pressure in this matchup where he got the counter pick. 
and here we see okay like sniper at least trading something back right um not sure where he got like this xp lead from maybe there was like an inefficient recall or something Aji ults the wave but gets hit by everything oh sniper finds the solo kill nicely done junjia answers and in the end it's worth because an assist goes over so in terms of gold psg wins out but that's a needed moment for him as like a player and for the team as a whole this is the morale boost that you need to like try to stay in this game let's just see on the other side old cooldowns are available sniper finds something but not a lot Yon has Berserkers, but uh, on the other side, Quid has the... Oh, I always fuck up names. And River again caught, man. I try to hype him up, but it's just... He it just gets cooked. Maybe the extended team fight can work for them. They pick up a kill, but there's the answer. Elia also looking rough, and they pick up the grubs. They pick up more kills. It's 7 to 2. It's a Woody. I mean, like his Alistair, like in case you weren't familiar with it, actually they get so many comfort picks. I just realized it. I think for Junjia, wasn't. Oh no, let's not misremember things. I think. Um, Sejuani was his most played champion, I think, in this summer. Woody's Alistar is like one of his all-time champions. Betty and uh, Ezreal, that just goes hand in hand like this. And like, sure, Maple and what is it, Yon is not really like a known combination or like the known pick for him, but the champion is just overpowered. And Aje, I think one of his most played champions career-wise, obviously, is the Nar, but I think Rumble is still up there. Uh, they just have so many comfort champions that are also like strong in the meta right now. I mean, hey, gold lead 3000. We're staring down another fight. And well, flashes and so on and so on. Maybe advantage from the thieves, but hey, the gold is heavy. Maybe the positive news is that uh, Aja is not here, but hey, Tomo gets caught and he gets away for a second. But hey, River also. Does he get the next auto attack? No, he gets CC chain again. Bro, this is personal. This is personal. PSG remembers. Hey, River. <laughs> how, is this go how is it going for you? N N A. Is the paycheck good? Is the bed warm? Is the McDonald's nice, tasty? Uh, yeah. Hope you enjoy it because you're going back there. You're going back there. Well, we are rocking up on the world stage and making plays. Tomo here TPs into mid lane. Uh, he gets away uh, and, uh, well, maybe the turret lives and maybe the turret can help, but, eh, well, the turret dies before Tomo does. So that's at least something. Ezreal old not coming up. Maybe they're looking for some overextension here, but, I mean, Azir stands his ground, gets some damage done. Yeah, maybe he should have, I don't know, moved to the side. Oh, sniper here. This is maybe Sniper's game. It's not. That's my uh, spoiler here. He gets some kills, but like... Uh, it's just so over. I, I mean, I think the PSG players are really good. That's, I think, no secret. And I think, like, the drafts we, we see... They play themselves. They play themselves. They get comfortable champions. They get good champions. They get good team fighting. The, the champions synergize well against each other. The champions do well against what Hunger Thieves has. I think PSG absolutely murders them on like any level, like any metric that you can envision. Two dragons, soul point is on the line for PSG. It's not the best soul, sure, but it's a soul nonetheless. And the thing is, think about it. Is Hunger Thieves getting any stronger? Are they going to scale well? Sure, they have River and Tomo, but that's kind of about it. Sniper, quit, they're not getting that much stronger. Maple here tries to engage onto quit, doesn't land the ult, still going to get him chunked, but that's the ult used before the dragon fight and, well, quit TP's in, but, let's see, let's see, Junjia here caught, but, oh, he gets the mega blast cone to safety and, like, oh, quit, uh, Maple TP's, well, that's sniper, one shot, and, yeah, nothing matters really anymore, they, they looked for something, but, Oh, let's see. Quit has to slice and dice away. He doesn't have the TP. He just has to run. He just has to run. He looks for something, but there's Betty. Yep. Another one, and they pick up that. Tomo also caught, gets splashed on, and oh, at least the snapback is not enough. Maple, maybe, yeah, we see the reason why uh, <laughs> the Yon is not his known champion, right? It's just, it's just sad. Hungry Thieves, they, they, they thought they had the window, right? Maple used the ult in the side lane. 
Uh, Quid gets the TP. They're looking for a flank. They're looking for attack on Junjia. Maybe not the best target, but if they get the jungler, even if they chunk him out, maybe they have a window to get the dragon, uh, to get something back, right? But far from it, they get the blast cone, and the blast cone marks the end of their hopes because, again, gold lead extended. They're getting outscaled, and now we see again the same thing from, or at least we have to hope that we see the same thing from last game where PNG is slowly pu putting up the ward lines and pushing it up and pushing it up. And again, they have Woody with the massive engagers, they have Junjia with the massive uh, like CC combos, and then they have a lot of damage as well, not only with Betty, who's now two items, four and three absolute masterclass, and yeah, Maple, maybe not 120% clean, but it's still, it's, it's still your own. Ajay, four, three, and four. Yeah. Oh, they look for a pick on the Woody. Let's just see how it goes. Let's just see how it goes. They find the first pick. There's the old. There's the next thing. And oh, there's someone got in caught. Maple doesn't get the snap back. Okay. Actually, PSG fucks it up. <laughs> I am sorry. That's on me. That's on me. That's clearly on me because I said they are good. I said they're in a great spot. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Um, they have Tomo, right? Sure. Getting caught. Maybe not playing flawlessly, but uh, he's still wave clear. Anyway, gets the ult onto the sleep. Ajit gets the split second there on the... Uh, what is it? On the Zonias. But that's many, many, many tools used. Betty's still firing out of all cylinders. Gets the E away and... Yeah. Uh, Maple looks for something. <laughs> and Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's your own, right? Oh, River's still here. Oh. This time they can't use five cooldowns onto River alone. But uh, yeah, they're looking for some plays and uh, again, maybe not the best of your own players here. But uh, it's still an absolute slaughter. We see the vision of Hungry Thieves, right? If, imagine if their champions weren't like 10,000 gold behind, right? Um, Uga Booga Zack Zack rush in and have like River and uh, Tomo like help from long range, right? That's okay, but uh, right then the PSG comp overall is not that tanky, right? So the like these bruiserous champions accelerated is pretty fine. Yeah, they use a lot of cooldowns onto River and Tomo, but both get away with a slimmer of HP. There's a, a plant also for snacks, and the like, Kia Sniper gets some value, but uh, it's just it's just not really enough, right? The, these bruisers they get kited, they get CC'd, and sure it's cl somewhat close. But it's close until it isn't, right? And uh, yeah. Now, well, I was thinking about, okay, is the Spear of Shojin right for, for the Ezreal? Well, after performing in this team fight, uh, yeah, he is now just rushing towards this next item, already has the last Whisper in pocket, and uh, yeah, they say, hey, let's just do Baron 28 minutes. A bit of a longer game in comparison to the last one, but hey, there's... Yeah, Elia, uh, Elia, Elia, I'm sorry, but uh, yeah, anyway, he is dead. Maybe, uh, yeah, PSG again, after the back of the last team fight one, after the map control being re-established, look at the wards, look at the sea of control wards, and I mean, River, this time not a dash champion, no flash, so they know there's just little that he can do in terms of stealing objectives, right? Here, the benefit of if you siege up with Baron in the side lane, look, how is PSG going to be attacked by Hunger Thieves here? Obviously not because of the gold lead, but like they can only be attacked from one side. It's so much easier to siege up in a side lane with the Baron love than to just brute force mid lane because you can be attacked from so many angles here. Here she pulls the trigger and again, that's the one angle you can be attacked from with a flank ward. They didn't do their homework and there was one ward left. They find Betty, ruin his KDA. Hiya. But yeah, we see Maple with the uh, Yon do brutal things and yeah. Betty's KDA again, cut! Actually 9-1, it's not that bad, but I guess it's an additional death towards the others that he already has. Regardless, regardless, uh, yeah. It's the end of the playing stage, the last game of playing stage, man. It was so much fun, what so much work, but hey, so many banger games. It marks the end with an ace, 21-9, to a 12,000 gold lead, kinda, and PSG. Two zeros near Abroad, 100 Thieves, and this is the level of play that we wanted to see from this team. Glad that they picked up the scraps, right? I was kind of concerned coming into this, like, is 100 Thieves going to be able to do it against PSG, uh, against a PSG that, uh, yeah, looked a bit worse, right? We see some heartfelt uh, hugs there with River again, but some of these teammates played with him back then. 
but uh, yeah, absolute masterclass. Um, I think it's pretty easy. Like Woody, absolutely cooking. Uh, game number one, like AJ looked great. Jun uh, Junjia, yeah, as expected, like performing really, really well. And uh, yeah, I mean, Hungry Thieves, again, low expectations, not only because they're from NA, but also, right, rookies, maybe a bit of a, like language barriers as well. They weren't expected to be here and so on and so on. And yeah. Oh, I, I, I quit looks, uh, quit looks fucked up. Uh, he looks uh, unhappy. Maybe he's sad, maybe he's angry. I think he might be a bit angry there. Um, yeah, I don't think uh, this uh, Hunger Thieves lineup stays together. I don't think uh, quit stays, right? I, I mean, well, whatever it is. Let's stay on a positive note. PSG, they make it. PSG, Mad Lions, uh, Gam, right? For many as expected. And then the huge surprise, obviously, PNG, Pain Gaming, lining up with these four, making it into the Swiss stage. And uh, yeah, I, I think we're going to have the Swiss stage draw being prepared there in the background. Well, right, whatever it is, whatever it is, that's the end of the playing stage. It was a banger. Hope you enjoyed these games with me. And if you did, hey, slap that like and subscribe button to not miss out on the main event. Switch stage and then the knockout stage all still ahead. We have um, over a month of more League of Legends gameplay ahead of us. Hey, I hope to see you then, my friends. Bye-bye.